Right guys, so here we are in our appointment in Dior Harrods. So I'm standing behind one of the colour capsules behind me for Spring Summer Dior. Now this hasn't yet launched. The launch is on the 15th of February and we're here seeing the preview. So I will pan across and show you everything in the room and then we will do some trying on. So without further ado, let me show you the collection. My channel if you're new here my name is Cara and I'm from London so today I thought I'd take you with me we are invited to see the preview of the Dior spring summer collection I cannot wait let's go around the corner we're here in Harrods so come with me and I will show you what new bits we have in the collection right so here we are in front of Dior have a look at the current windows of the moment I love the floral display at the back guys this is the belt from Dior Cruise with the purples and the whites got the Lady Dior in the medium here in white and cream this is also current season cruise because they're not putting the new season windows out until the 15th but this is wave three what do we think guys So here we are in our appointment in Dior Harrods. So I'm standing behind one of the colour capsules behind me for Spring Summer Dior. Now this hasn't yet launched. The launch is on the 15th of February and we're here seeing the preview. So I will pan across and show you everything in the room and then we will do some trying on. And the colours that I'm wearing, I'm sure you're all going to say, oh look, you're wearing colours. It's because I'm going to the Plaza Suite play to see the wonderful Sarah Jessica Parker and her husband Matthew Broderick at the play tonight. So I'm challenging my inner Carrie Bradshaw we will show you a full-length image of me later on wearing this outfit so without further ado let me show you the collection so guys this is one of the color capsules of Dior spring summer 2024 so if I show it to you from a distance first of all you will see that the colors are very much centered around black and I would call this like a camel I'm not sure the actual color name on the website itself but if I take you closer over to the prints and the planes we will start from this side so first of all this dress does not have hanger appeal as you see it in reality here one of the key features of the collection is the off the shoulder or the one shoulder then let's go into the details of the product so we've got i would call this a very lightweight crochet knit cardigan excuse the flickering lights you've got the cd buttons how much is this one that's 1700 and a lot of the collection you will see as I'm showing you have got a lot of the raw edge as a trim feature. This skirt, I have to say, it's a very beautiful print. In fashion, we would call this like a non-print. It's the kind of print you could wear year in, year out, season after season. I mean, obviously with the colors that I'm wearing, we're gonna have to try her on with the black top, but I do quite like this print because it is something that you could easily wear back with black all year round. This dress, I mean, my gosh, I don't really wear sleeveless dresses, but I wanted to show you guys, I think this is one of my favorite pieces in the collection, the tailoring on this dress. It's very A-line, you've got your cinched in waist, and it's just naturally fluted out on the hem. You almost think that there's netting here, but there isn't. It's beautiful. I would say that's gorgeous corsetry. Then you've got some shirt dresses. Now, you can't really see the beauty of this. You have to try and go and feel this if I were you, because they have this and they have a shorter black one. 
but it's all about the fabric guys it's almost like a cotton sateen it's really soft and then you've got the cdb this is the bar jacket the double breasted bar jacket but look at the difference this time you've got the raw edge hem on the cuffs and on the hemline and i would say this is quite a unique piece to be honest with you i love the bar jackets clean and simple but this offers dior a real point of difference if you already have these signature pieces in your collection and you want to add something a little bit more edgy you can definitely do that with this current piece and then they've got some tie-dye denim so i don't think all of the denim has come in yet so I'll take you through that later on. This is the classic 30 Montan trench coat, and this is the print of the season. It's called the Toile de Juillet Soleil. So as you can see, they have the sun print here with little faces on it. I believe that the focus of this collection is very much about the zodiac, and you will see that coming through across on knitwear, skirt, and shoes. So this is one of the key shirts of the season. As I said before, you do need to try the off the shoulder ones on because if you see this on the hanger, it's not really gonna sell it to you. You have to see how it looks on your body. We will try that on. This is a gorgeous pleated skirt. I would say it's not really my cup of tea because I think the print is quite dark for me, but I just wanted to show you the workmanship on this because it is fully pleated. If I show you in the mirror. So it's completely pleated front and back. It has an asymmetric hem on the hemline at the front and it's plain at the back on the hemline. It has a good weight and I'd say this is something, it's a little bit heavy. You could probably wear this in the autumn as well as in the spring. I've shown you that one already. And then they've got some of the pajama style tops and bottoms. So you've got the Zodiac print here with the matching trousers. Now this is one of my favorite pieces, guys. How can you tell? You know how much I love the Dior skirts. And on this side, this is the other color capsule. So you've got the beautiful new tweed with the canage print. Can you see it in the tweed? I'll take you closer to that in a moment. But this side of the collection is all about the black, the white and the purple. This is a beautiful tailored coat. You've got the little clasp here with Christian Dior. On the underneath you've got the detachable canage quilted lining. And then they've got the houndstooth. I think more pieces are coming into this as well, the houndstooth tweed. This is a fitted sleeveless tailored dress, but I've seen images where you can actually wear this as a jacket with trousers, beautiful. This is the longer length dress, the one I've just shown you on the other side, which was a mini dress and they have it in black. Gosh, guys, honestly, if I wore sleeveless, I'd be all over this. The tailoring and the cut of these dresses are amazing. This is the oversized blouse with the CD. And then the sleeveless jacket you can wear. It's quite utilitarian, I have to say. And then here is the new canage tweed. So you have it up there in the two bags. That's the two drawers in the small. Cute kilts, mini skirts. This is the colour of the season. It's not a colour that I would wear, but I think it's beautiful, especially for autumn winter, to be honest with you. And then let's go and see this side. So here, you've got the beautiful D-Joy in the Toile de Jouy Soleil, and then some more chamois. Then you've got the beautiful blue and white. This is the traditional Toile de Jouy coloration. What do we think of that? love these shoes i'm going to try these ones on they're the kitten heel version of the runway shoe where you've got the multiple buckles on the ankle but look at these ones they're so sweet right guys hello 
Hello and welcome to today's vlog. So as you have already seen from the showroom outside there, I'm here in Dior Harrods today. We are invited to see the wonderful new collection, which is Spring Summer Dior. So behind me, I've selected and my essay has picked out some gorgeous pieces. I'm going to try them on and see how they suit me. But I must admit, you know, as you will already know from previous videos, I don't really like showing my shoulders, so a lot of the collection is focused on one shoulder, so we will see how they look. Now let me pan across so you can have a look here. So as you will see, what I'm going to try on, this is the double-breasted bar jacket. So here, as I was saying there, it is with the raw edge and the slight distressing on the cuffs and on the hemline on the back as well. Now, how much is this? This is £3,600 and it's the double-breasted bar jacket. I already have the single-breasted bar jacket in black, so it'd be quite interesting to see how the double one looks. I mean, I do like double-breasted anyway. And then we've got the piece de resistance for the collection, which is the off-the-shoulder shirt or blouse. This is 1450 so we'll see how that looks on. Then we've got the pleated, I would call this a midi skirt, probably a maxi on me with the asymmetric hem. And then if you look close up, this is actually with a zodiac print. So a lot of the collection focuses on the sun. And then the beautiful, beautiful lace skirt. Now I have to try this on to show you the beauty of this, but it's all about the zodiacs embroidered onto the lace. and contrastingly different to the cruise lace skirt is you've got the lovely border here where the lace on the cruise skirt that I'm wearing today is scalloped. This is a lovely alternative to the skirt I've shown you in the showroom. This is a pleated skirt and it's in the non-print print as I said you can wear this all year round and then guys they've just pulled out the beautiful denim jacket which has just arrived today so I reckon this is going to be very popular and they have a lot of lovely denim jeans and skirts coming soon so how much is this one this is 1450 and then we've got a couple of tops here to try on with but look what we have here so i am going to indulge in these beautiful shoes guys this is the platform in the same print as the skirt absolutely heavenly they don't have the prices on, but I'll put them on up at the bottom. Then you've got a lot of the trims of this season are raw edge trims. So this is the court shoe. It's their price? No. But look at the lovely CD pearl trim there. Very beautiful with the bow front. These are my favourite pieces actually. Quite like this because in the collection on the runway this is also offered in a much higher calf length shoe with multiple straps but I quite like the daintiness of the double strap on the ankle. And then of course they've got the Jadior slingback in the matching print as well so this will also be a key print clearly from the collection so far so let's get trying on Guys, let me introduce you to the first two pieces of the collection that I'm trying on today. So basically, here is the double-breasted jacket that I showed you earlier with the raw edge on the cuffs and on the hemline. Where are you there? And what I would say about this gorgeous jacket is, I don't even know if they call this the bar jacket. Let me just check. They call it the women's wear jacket. So. If this is the bar jacket, then what they've done, they have really, really accentuated. In fact, let me hide the items at the back so you can see the silhouette. Right guys, so I've just quickly squished down the other pieces that I'll be trying on in a moment, just so that you can see the silhouette. So what I love about this jacket is it's so corseted and I'm actually wearing a size smaller than I would normally wear. So I normally wear a size 42 and this is a size 40 and it's double breasted. So either I'm losing some weight which is amazing or it's just 
that little bit more fitted than the bar jacket. I would say, to be honest with you, if this wasn't raw edge on the hem and the cuffs, I would so jump on this, but I would have preferred if they offered this fit as a classic shape. I would love this in plain black and the cream and all the colors, but it's absolutely lovely. So if you like to accentuate your waist as I do, and as you know, I have more of a curvy figure than a straight figure, this really accentuates the curves if you like that kind of thing and I don't really mind it if I come up closely you can see the detail I mean you can see it's pulling here a little bit because I am true to size on a 42 but I think if I was to buy this I would just ask the tailor to reposition the button a little bit on the outside so it doesn't have to pull and then they can always re put it back where it was once I've lost a little bit more but I just thought I'd show it to you close up because you know, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous jacket. If you love your tailored jackets, this is definitely one to invest in. It's, it's, you know, absolutely beautiful. Let me, in fact, let me tell you how much this one is. This is the style code. So it's 3,600. Let me show you what I'm wearing underneath. So I will take the jacket off in a minute, but have a look at this gorgeous skirt, guys. So this is 4,400. I would call this the non-print print. It's a black floral print, basically. And it's a wrap skirt with a beautiful, don't know if you can see the details. It has a little Christian Dior motif on the buckle here. Absolutely beautiful. And what is beautiful about this skirt, if you haven't already seen, it's all over pleated. Look at the volume in this skirt guys it naturally is a wrap skirt so if you wanted to you know you could walk flash a little bit of the leg why not but if you don't when you stand up straight it's very elegant you don't actually have to shout that there's a split at all and from the side obviously i've unbuttoned the jacket but if that was fitted it would show much more of a slimmer waist I think it's really stunning. I mean, the two pieces together go really well. I like the juxtapose of the tailored with the flared skirt. But what do we think, guys? Right, guys, this is the piece de resistance for the collection. It's all about the off-the-shoulder tailoring and blouses so this is one of their very popular I think this is going to sell out to be honest it's a very popular piece this is the black blouse where one side is designed to sit on your shoulder as a regular shirt and the other side is designed to sit off your shoulder as you can see it's not really something I think I would get into because to be honest with you I don't really wear much of off the shoulder or one shoulder type tops it's quite long line I'd say when you pull out the shirt it has a natural curve and on the front and on the back with lovely turn up cuffs here the fabric is absolutely beautiful it's like a cotton sateen really sumptuous you can definitely wear this in the evening and in the daytime this is the price 1450 and i would say this is how maria grazia Churi designed it to be obviously with the full skirt beautiful iconic silhouette of dior but also with the new way of styling it's a buy now wear now collection you can definitely look at the pieces and if you've got a rainy day you can so wear you know a blouse like this this is quite edgy and i love the fact that they're updating their silhouettes because you will still have the iconic skirt silhouette that Dior are so amazing for but they are updating their silhouettes with slightly more edgier items such as this blouse and then guys these are the beautiful matching printed Jean Dior slingbacks so if I just show it to you before I take this skirt off you can see it's all color coordinated with the camel and the black really really beautiful when you have the matching shoes don't we think oh beautiful right guys 
this is the second skirt that I'm trying on today. I just wanted to see the movement of this one because it is quite expensive. This one is 5,400. So I wanted to see how it looks on compared to the other skirt I tried on, which was 4,400. I mean, it's a totally different fabric. It's in a beautiful fine gauged twill and it's all over pleated but I think where you're paying for is the actual technique of this skirt. As you can see, it's completely pleated. If I come closer, I mean, look at the detail of that. It's all really, really evenly pleated. I think even though it's the same size as the other skirt I tried on, because the fabric is that much more softer, it kind of accentuates the curves more than I would want it to, I think. But I think it's beautiful in terms of print. It's a print that could last season after season, year after year. And you could easily wear this quite edgy with your off the shoulder blouse or just a simple jadiot t-shirt or just a plain black tee. Ankle boots for autumn winter and heels for spring. This is the current season. What do we think of these? is the first piece that I fell in love with in the new collection however I will be very honest and say I'm only trying her on to show you because I already have my cruise lace skirt but have a look guys I mean to me the laces just get better and better if I hold this out you can't really see it I mean you do have to come in and have a look at them in real life but the lace has got zodiac embroidery all the way round so I haven't actually even looked at all of the details yet if I stand here I mean it's just so much detail in terms of the actual lace this is much lighter weight than the one that I have from cruise and because they've made it longer and the lining is shorter if I zoom down can you see the border of the lace is deeper and less scalloped than the cruise one and the beauty of having the shorter lining is you can totally see the beautiful shoes underneath you know it shows you your ankles i mean just look at these shoes these are my favorite shoes of the season it has a little kitten heel with a double pearl and the cd on the pearl with these raw edge <sighs> it's so gorgeous most prettiest shoes these are my favorite pieces so this is the beautiful platform high heel shoe with a double ankle strap and I've even noticed it's got a CD here love that in this print and in the print on the shoe it's actually a bit more champagne gold as opposed to the more camel color on the skirts and then this is my favorite piece this is the double ankle strap, kitten heel, raw edge, bow front, pointy toe, dreamy, dreamy shoe. And as you would have seen in the runway, they have got this in a more of a calf length with the multiple buckles. And then these are the Jadior shoes. If you preferred more of a classic, then you've got it in this print with the canvas. But I think my favorite piece are these. What do we think? Right guys, now I think I have saved one of my favorite pieces to the end. Here we have the new inn. In fact, it only arrived in the store within the last hour. 
denim jacket for spring summer i love denim if you don't know already absolutely love the denim now let me show you in detail i just love these pockets because when you wear denim you just want it to be easy don't you in spring so they're quite a little bit small but that's fine we have got the obligatory cdb there and i'm wearing it with this season's new book tote this is in the large and it's in the toile de juillet soleil print and i would say it's a slightly similar color to the plan de paris print that you had for autumn winter if you see in the light there very easy coloration now let me show you the price so the price of this bag is 2750 absolutely lovely colorway but the price of this lovely jacket i mean i'd say it's quite a good price for dior in terms of denim jackets it's 1450 so where you're like expecting to pay how much is this again this bar jacket is 3600 for a tailored jacket you can get a really good price almost half price for a denim jacket and I love that you can wear Dior just cash and smart together that is literally me I love smart and casual so I'm wearing my cruise skirt from wave one in black lace with my mum's vintage butterfly belt and the current season spring summer denim jacket and then on my feet are the current season I love these guys, they're very comfortable, platform heels. So I'm all ready for spring, we just need the weather. What do we think? Right guys, some new in on the crinkled leather. This is a new shape, this is the tote bag in the Lady Dior style. How much is that? 5,100. My favorite, favorite D-Joy. That one is, oh, that's not the price. Let's have a quick look, 4,200. And it's in a, like a dark black, but it also looks like it's tinted in a brown kind of sheen. What do we think with the black matte hardware? And then I thought I would show you this. This is the Lady Dior in the small, but look at the contrast leather on the sides. What do we think? Right guys, so we've left Dior. I hope you've enjoyed that. We are going to go back soon because there's some pieces that I have in mind to have a look at that hasn't yet stopped in. So the launch is actually on the 15th of Feb. Not sure when I'm gonna publish this vlog, but if you haven't already, have a look at my Dior Cruise vlogs, parts one to three on my channel. I will pop the links down below. And oh gosh, it's very busy here in Harrods today. And until next week, I will bid you farewell. We're now going to see the Plaza Suite with Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick. Can't wait. Have a lovely, safe week, and I see you soon. Bye, guys.